Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing some painting I'm using the Shi Yun watercolors from Paul Rubens. And this is a beautiful, it's kind of a curated box set. It has beautiful packaging with some Chinese artwork. They are named in English and then on the tubes they are um, they have a number, but the rest of the writing is on Chinese, but they're 15 milliliter tubes, and they are, uh, they come in an aluminum tube, and these, uh, this set here, it, the first set is all made with PBK11 mixes, and so I'm going to share the swatches, and then, and then we will get started painting with these. Comes with some beautiful colors, and here they are all swatched off comes with these colors, the beautiful, deep, kind of moody colors. And a lot of you asked for the paintings with this first. Um, so there's this one. And if you can see in the swatches, the lighting, this is a PBK 11 and PV 23. This one is made with PBK 11 and PR 254. This one is made, this is a green, and it is made with PBK11 and PG7. This one is made with PBK11 and PB15. This one is made with PBK11 and PB29. And this one is made with PBK11 and PY110. These are really pretty muted colors and they all have PBK11 in them. PBK11 is in many of my favorite mixtures from other companies. I, and I went and looked around in my paint collection and I noticed the only black that I really enjoy is made with PBK11. Uh, Lunar Black from Daniel Smith, Mars Black from Schmincke, they are all made with PBK11. The new Schmincke Super Granulating Colors, some of my favorites like the Forest Blue is one of my favorites and it is made with PB36 in PBK11. So this one right here, PBK29 and PBK11 and that is the same as this. So they are exactly the same pigments, glacier black, forest blue. These are all, um, these are all mixes with PBK11. Also, if you, um, some of my favorite mixes from Van Gogh and Rembrandt. These are mixes with PBK11. I have poured these into half pans. And this is what they look like after they've dried. I've also taken them and put them in one of these little palettes so that I could use them with the second set of Shein. And then this is the first set. Um, so they all dried really nice and none of them are cracking or falling out or anything like that. This is what I had painted so far with this muted set of the precipitated set from Paul Rubens. That was the most requested to use these muted colors. I was using this uh, from Unsplash from Joshua Cotton was the photographer. And I tried to use that as a reference to paint this leopard. <laughs> I'm still learning, but I only used the precipitated colors. They mixed really well. I was able to get a really good black, really good grays. The only colors that I used along with this precipitated colors are the Paul Rubens 24 half pan set. I use the cadmium yellow as well as the umber. And with that, those two colors, I just added to the precipitated colors and I was able to get all the mixes that I needed. So I'm going to show just a little bit of that, but I really did enjoy using these paints and I can't wait to use them for some foliage and more obvious things to use. But I was trying to kind of think of something that was a little less obvious. And I think cat's eyes will be the perfect thing to use these muted colors for. So I hope you enjoy watching and I'm gonna put on some music and let you watch me paint just a little bit of this. Here's the drawing that I did last night and I'm going to try to paint this.
Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.